The open abdomen is a treatment for critically ill patients uh, that need to be left open with a laparostomy. Uh, these patients uh, suffer from uh, severe sepsis, from uh, liquid overload, and in the end, the intra-abdominal volume is too big for, for the cavity that is being given by the abdominal wall. In literature, um, open abdomen treatment um, goes along with a mortality of 12 to 40 percent and uh, the biggest risk is if you cannot close the open abdomen in a um, short time, um, enteroatmospheric fistulas and um, if you can't close it in between five to eight days, uh, it is very improbable to be able to close an open abdomen at all. The open abdomen is not a very common disease um, or treatment state. Uh, in Germany we estimate it to be, and I think this is the same numbers in more or less the whole of Europe, uh, with about 50 cases per million inhabitants per year. And um, while you still have the babies, newborns with uh, congenital open abdomens, but this is even more rare than the abdomen, uh, open abdomen in adults. Open abdomens um, are just a state of treatment, so in the end you have very different um, reasons for, for being treated with an open abdomen. Um, it is, for example, trauma patients, it is patients with a severe pancreatitis, severe peritonitis, um, you have a lot of uh, vascular injuries like perforated abdominal uh, aortic um, aneurysms. And these patients, if they need too much uh, liquid and they're positively balanced, um, they don't have enough space for their organs in the abdominal cavity. So having not enough space in the abdominal cavity and the need for, for being left open for peritonitis causes are the major uh, um, reasons for an open abdomen. There are different uh, treatment methods for the open abdomen. Uh, one could say there's an evolution in, in treatment of open abdomens. It has been the Bogota bag or the Whitman patch, uh, which has just been covers and temporary abdominal closure systems. And in the last years, actually, um, uh, the negative pressure worm therapy has shown, together with the dynamic uh, traction, the best results. Um, the only thing is that um, the horizontal traction uh, combined with a negative pressure wound therapy can only be started after normalization of the intra-abdominal volume and this is actually uh, why a vertical uh, traction has its um, advantage because you can begin with it right from the beginning of the treatment of open abdomen patients. Vertical mesh mediated facial traction is actually um, yes, um, an evolution of the horizontal mesh mediated traction. Uh, it is placed with a um, piece of mesh to the fascia to distribute the uh, forces of the sutures that pull the abdominal wall upwards. And by having this direction of, of a vertical pull, um, you have two major effects. First of all, the abdominal wall can't um, retract and on the second you have the possibility of enlarging the abdominal cavity which is very beneficial for these patients. Actually every patient with an open abdomen um, can be um, treated with a vertical mesh mediated traction. You definitely don't need it if you can close a patient after two days. But if at the first relook surgery you cannot or you don't want to close a patient because there's still too much feces, for example, after an anastomotic leakage in the abdominal cavity, uh, then it would be the best um, time to use the vertical mesh mediated facial traction because this way you don't have to suffer the um, retraction of the abdominal wall and you will always be 
able to close such an abdomen earlier than with the other means. Of course, the first application of the system um, is done in the OR, so it's done by the surgeons. Um, you have to fix the, the mesh to the fascia and place the traction sutures. But afterwards on the uh, ICU, actually it is um, the nursing staff that is treating these patients with this uh, new technique. It is easy to see how much traction force you're using. Uh, we usually apply seven kilograms of vertical traction for always five hours, followed by one hour of traction pause. And this way, um, in the end, the patient is treated for 20 hours more or less with the traction um, upwards and four hours of traction pause. The results of open abdomen treatment have not been really uh, satisfactory. Um, many people had to go home just um, uh, having left a big incisional hernia because the, the skin has been closed over the defect. Uh, if an open abdomen lasted too long, um, you've got the complications of uh, endroatmospheric fistulas. Um, and this is actually why uh, the idea of a vertical mesh mediated facial traction came into life. If you begin with a closure right in the beginning of an open abdomen and you don't leave this out of your eyes, um, it will definitely be possible to close people earlier by this um, reduce complications and um, having a higher um, uh, facial closure rate. Visita il sito e iscriviti ai nostri canali. E tu, sei up?